time to work on the Subaru. What's going on everyone? Today we are going to redo something that I haven't liked on my car for a while. Um, some of you may like it, I don't. And we're going to be doing some of the colors on the Subaru. The previous owner on this car decided that he wanted to paint uh, that red, that red, that blue, I'm sorry, that red, and also red up here. So, I mean, he stayed with the same color, which, you know, I'll admire him for that. But I don't necessarily like that color. Um, so, I am going to be repainting these today. Um, I may change the color in the future, but this is just what I decided to go with today. Um, I'm kind of sticking with the rally colors for this car. The rims are already um, kind of rally gold. Um, they're a little darker than that, but we're going to say they're rally gold. Um, eventually we'll be repainting the calipers as well, just going back to black. Um, but since the rims are kind of gold, we're going to stick with rally colors here and go with a more blue um, for the engine bay. So I may not like it, I may go to another color, but we'll see how it looks. So today we'll be using Krylon. Uh, we're going to be using this blue color right here. And all I'm going to be doing blue is this piece, that piece right there, and also the um the uh horn in the front so those two will be this color blue i'm still deciding if i want to do those blue or just go straight to flat black like it was factory um i'm leaning more towards black let me know in the comments below what you guys think usually in order to get behind the grill in this car um if you're doing any work on the front of the vehicle you have to actually take the bumper off it's a pain in the butt so i'm going to attempt to get these out um there's just a bracket holding them so i'm going to attempt to get these out without actually taking off the entire bumper the first step to doing that is taking these little clips off that are holding uh what looks to be not just the top it looks to be just holding the um the little grill in here however uh there's also clips underneath it that hold the grill in and because of that, it makes it extremely hard to just take the grill off by itself. Um, usually to take the grill off, you have to take the bumper off to just to get to the grill. So we're undoing these just so that we can reach behind here and hopefully be able to pull it out like that, just enough to where I can slip these out of there. To make it a little easier on myself, I'm taking out the latch that holds down the, uh, the hood of the car. I'm taking that out because I'll be able to get to the bolts for the horn a lot easier that way um, just since we're not taking the whole bumper off this will make it a lot more accessible in true Steven fashion I didn't think everything through and of course this has the cable connected to it because the inside of the car you can open it so there's a cable going uh, through the firewall into the inside of the car so because of that I have to detach the cable to get this all the way out so we're not going to take it all the way out However, now that it is loose, I'm going to be able to move it around and uh, be able to get to where I need a little bit better just because I can move this out of the way. I'm going to pull it up and get it out of the way. So in order to get the horn off, or the horns off, um, there is wiring. However, the wiring is a simple, you just pull it off, as you can see right there. You just pull it off, um, and there's just two bolts. So those two bolts right there are your two bolts one per each horn that's also how you adjust them to change the height of them so i could have them sitting up here down there wherever i wanted so we're just going to take those two bolts off and then uh pull them on out of there by the way all of this is a 12 millimeter and that looks like it's going to be a 10 millimeter 12 is definitely too big um so that one's probably a 10 but everything down here was a 12 mil Just to verify, this was a 10 mil. Before you paint anything, you do want to give it a light sanding down. Um, I like to sand everything just to get the surface still rough. And then I'll clean them off with the degreaser. And I also was able to find in my shed um, some flat black paint. So I'll be painting the actual insides of it black. They do have a little symbol on it. As you can see, there's little red symbols around the inside right there. Um, since we're going blue, I really don't care about them anyways, so I'm just gonna get rid of that and uh, we'll just go flat black with them and then blue for everything else. Surface that we don't want, kind of clean off the surface of it. I'm only gonna be painting the front side of these. The back side is red. However, 
the front side is the only side going to be showing on the car. The only way to see the back side is if you actually went, um, took them off and looked at them. That's the only way you'd see them. So I'm not worrying about the back. I'm only going to worry about the front. I think I may be a little more excited about the color um, than I originally was. Uh, now that I see it, I think it looks really good. So there is our blue. It is extremely blue as you can see. And then just flat black, it's, the paint's still a little wet on those, so they look a little shiny, but they will dry a matte color. And we'll put them back on once they're dry. While it dries, this is a good time to uh, take a nice, long break. Um, you know, really think about the decisions you've made in life. And uh, since we do drive a Subaru... Nothing wrong with a little vaping in your brake too. Final touch to completing it. And it's all done. All right, it's all done. Um, like I said, those will be painted next time because I just don't like the red. I'm not a red person, but that is blue. And I think this is my favorite part. It looks so much better. I definitely like that look a lot better. The flat black and the nice blue. Just a clean look let me know if you guys like the blue if you don't like the blue uh, if you would have gone what color you would have gone comment down below and that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video peace, peace.